You know, you don't look so dumb. For a dummy. Come on, Fanny. Musher, what are you doing? I'm working, Mr. Calloway. Working? Hmm. You keep on working like that and you'll work your way right out of a job. Yes, sir. Here, put this down. Yes, sir. Now, get me some pins. Yes, sir. You know, the boss doesn't like the way we're dressed in the windows. Well, you can't blame him. What? Yes, sir, the pins. Oh, yes. The only window he likes is the baby clothes display. Did you tell him that I dressed that window? I did not. That's all right, I'll tell him. Huh? Now, listen, Musher. While I'm head of the window dressing department, you'll take your orders from me. Yes, sir. Now get out of here. Yes, sir. Uh, put this model in the window. Yes, sir. Hurry up. Yes, sir. Can't you say anything else but yes, sir? No, sir. Well, why don't you say it? Yes, sir. <gasps> this is a sample of the uh, toilet water we have on sale today. Will that be all? Thank you. Hello, Willie. Willie, hello. Hello, Aggie. Willie. Come here a minute, Willie. I can't. Fanny and I have a date. You've got a date to take me to the picnic tomorrow. You have... What's that? You promised the last time you didn't take me the next time. Well, this is the next time it is. No, the next time is the next time. Oh, young man, you have a kind face. Will you take care of my baby? <laughs> but, but listen, Thank I... You. A steady kid. <laughs> Hold everything. <laughs> have you any round rubber sponges? Yes, yeah, I'm in a truck. Willie, will you pick up the baby, will ya? Oh, 
Pardon me, I, I thought you were a dummy. <laughs> Are you Mr. Reisman, the manager of this store? Yes, madam, you are. Uh... <laughs> I'm Mrs. Morgan. Oh, yes, madam. I have a very serious complaint to make. Yes, uh, won't you be seated? <laughs> Last week, I purchased a set of china for a wedding gift. Oh, yes, the china department. I left full instructions for its delivery, but the set arrived with half of the pieces broken two days after. To the wedding. I promise you, someone will suffer for this. Send Mr. Musher to me at once. Yes, sir. Uh, now, uh, of course, we will replace the broken articles, Mrs. Morgan. Window dressing department. Mm hmm. Hmm. Marsha, who wants him? Mr. Reisman. Right away. Yes, I'll find him. I'll send him to you right away. Who is that man you sent for? The man who is responsible for this mistake. This isn't the first complaint we've had about him. Ah, uh, that you, Mighty? Yes, sir. Come in. You recall packing a set of china for Mrs. Morgan? Why, how do you do, Mrs. Morgan? China? Yes, sir. Was it pink with green stripes? It was the finest limos with gold stripes. And when it arrived, every cup in the set was broken. Isn't that too bad? Too bad? Yeah, no cups for coffee. Are you arguing with me? No, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, you're fired. Now you get your money and get out. And let this be a lesson to you. Yes, sir. Anything else, sir? Get out. Good day, Mrs. Morgan. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Not, not at all. It's been a pleasure, I assure you. Now, if you will just go down to the China Department, we will do what we can for you, Mrs. Morgan. Thank you so much, yes. Mr. Reisman. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Good day. Good day. Good <laughs> day. Are you the manager? Yes, ma'am. Won't you come in? Come, Edward. Mm. You have some complaint? The most outrageous thing has happened. Edward, tell him. Why, I bought this bag here yesterday afternoon. Oh, yes. Uh, the baggage department. Be seated. I've been in town several days on business. Now, my wife was to join me tomorrow for a vacation trip. Yesterday, I bought some shirts and things and told the clerk to send them to my hotel in that bag. Send the head of the baggage department to me at once, on a complaint. When I arrived in town, I went straight to my hotel, and I was late, and I found this. Hmm. Hmm. Evidently, someone has been very careless. You can imagine my feelings. And mine. The head of the baggage department is here, sir. Send him in. <laughs> Why, this isn't the man who waited on me yesterday. I know that. You know what you did? You put ladies' clothes in a gentleman's bag. This lady's clothes? That lady is his wife. Well, who was the lady that had her clothes in his bag? None of your business. Now, how did you happen to make this mistake? Oh, it's liable to happen in the best of families. Are you arguing with me? No, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you you're fired. And let this be a lesson to you. Yes, sir. I can't tell you how relieved I am. You know, Edward is so very, very, very busy. Hey, come here, Robert. Here. I want you to take this. What's this for? For being the world's champion liar. Oh, that's all right. No, 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 take it. And don't you worry. 
I'll see that you get another job. What's the matter with the one I got? Why, didn't you just get fired? It's a racket. Huh? You see, every time the store makes a mistake, I get fired. It makes it nice for everybody. <laughs> well, it certainly made it nice for me. <laughs> Edward! Edward! Are you sure the cashier's office on this door? I'll stay with it for I paid the bill here, Les. What's that? Hush money. Hush money? Mm-hmm. It doesn't rattle in your pocket. Ten whole berries. I suppose you're going to blow that in on some skirt. Not in your life. I'm going to put it in the bank. You know, I'm saving up for a raccoon coat. Yes, and how much have you got now? Seven dollars and a quarter. I had three thousand, but I invested in oil stock. Now, wherever did you get three thousand dollars? A taxi cab backed into me. Oh, I suppose you sued the company. No, they gave me three thousand not to. Hmm. <laughs> and you bought oil stock? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there's one born every minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, in Brooklyn, the birth rates are much higher. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. I'm going over the bank. Now, listen, Musher. You'll be back in five minutes, or I'll report you. Oh, Callaway. Yes? <clears throat> so we're here to ask for contributions to the orphan home, ladies and gentlemen. The home is taking care of more than 100 children. My sister's fellow here. Now, I don't know of any charity more deserving than the home and the work it's doing. Miss Brown here. She will accept any contribution you may wish to make. Every dollar you give goes directly to the children. No one profits by it except the all. Now, if you don't feel like giving a large sum today, you may donate a weekly pledge, $10, to support one child for one week. Anybody can play this game. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. No, dear. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. Is this one of the orphans? Yes. Cute little rascal. What is she? Girl or boy? Oh, she's a boy. Oh. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> so you kind of like him, don't you? Oh, I love him to death. I bet he likes you, too. Having her instead of a mother, that's not such hard luck, is it? No. <laughs> ah, there's a man after my own heart. A smile on his face and money in his hand. Hey, wait a minute. That's $10. Just enough to support one orphan for one week. I'll get you a receipt. But listen, that's Oh, that was dollars. awfully generous of you. Oh. Do you think so? Why, yes. Well, <clears throat> he's sure a cute kid. Mm -hmm. He likes you. Oh, yeah, he's a bright kid, all right. Will you sign this, please? Oh, is this my receipt? Yes, it entitles you to visit the hall whenever you want. <clears throat> Will you be there tomorrow? Yes, I work Sunday. Good, I'll be there, too. Be a good chance to get better acquainted. With the baby, you mean? Yeah, with the baby. All signed. Thank you. Here's your coffee. Now, does anybody else want to support a little off? Well, I guess that washes me up. So long, Oscar. Uh -huh. Goodbye, Miss. Miss. Oh, uh, my name is Robin. Mary Robin. Gee, that's a pretty name. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, my name's Usher. Oh, what a odd name. Odd? Uh -huh. No, oh, it's even. Look, M-U-S-H-E-R, sick. Well, <laughs> good, uh, see you tomorrow, Oscar. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. calling a bunch of sweetness like you, Oscar. Oh, but he was sort of nice, didn't you think, Oscar? Yeah! <laughs> One o'clock, girls. Time for lunch. I hereby promise to pay the Bellevue Orphanage for the support of a child a sum of ten dollars. Each and every week, Hey! Hey!
How can I give him $10 every week? I only make 20. Oh, listen, Marmaduke, it can't be done. Hey, what's the idea? Talking to a dummy, you dummy. The next thing you know, you'll be talking to yourself and walking into telegraph poles. You know that, don't you? All right, get out of here, will you? Nobody's seen me come in, nobody did. That's fine. If the boss catches you in here, we'll both get canned. Oh, go on. The <laughs> boss went out to lunch. He's out eating his. Hey, Willie, about that picnic tomorrow. I'm not going. Will you get out of here, please? Well, if you don't take me, I'll go with Johnny Harris, I will. He's crazy to take me, Johnny, yes. <laughs> yeah, he must be. Yeah, go ahead. Go with Johnny. Hey, are you spurning me for another day, Maya? No, I gotta go out to the orphan's home tomorrow about a baby. A baby? How did you get mixed up with a baby? How no. did you? Well, I was going to the bank and I stopped to talk to a girl on the street. And, and now I... you got a baby on your hands. Wait a minute, you're thinking too fast. Look. I hereby promise to pay $10 a week. Per week? It can't be done, so I gotta go out there tomorrow and tell them it can't be done. Why do you have to go out there tomorrow and tell them it can't be done? Why do you have to? Because it can't be done. Look, I only make 20 bucks a week. Yeah. 20. Yeah. I have to give your mother five for my room. You'd better. And the stomach gets seven more. Yeah. Seven and five or... Eleven. Twelve. Twelve from 20 leaves eight. eight. See? A and you have to pay 10. Yeah. You know what I think? What? I think you ought to go out there tomorrow yeah. and tell him it can't be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a new idea. Will you get out of here before I crown you? And you, Marshal? Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, oh, I, I'm undressing the dummy, sir. Stand still, dummy. Don't let me interfere. I'll be here for some time, so go right on with your work. You want to get my idea? Come, come, Masha. Undress that dummy. Yes, sir. <laughs> You've been in this department for some time, haven't you? Oh, about a year. <laughs> Doing all right? Stand still. What'd you say? I say I'm standing still. <laughs> Now's your chance to go further. Oh. Wait a minute. You'd better take off those bloomers. Uh, What's that? Uh, I said no. It uh, never show through this slip. <laughs> I got the wrong slip on. Ouch! Did you say something? Oh, well, uh, I, I was just talking to the dummy. You know, I often talk to the dummy. Sort of a habit with me. You talk to dummies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very funny. Yes, yeah, it is. <laughs> you talk to the dummies. <laughs> And they can't answer you back. No, they can't say a word. <laughs> oh. Hello. Yes. This is Mr. Reisman. All right. I'll come at once. You, you, I could murder you. Wait till I get my hands on you, you, you dirty undresser, you. Oh, now, now don't get excited. I saved your job for you, didn't how I? How did you save it, though? How did you save it? Tell me, I'll teach you, you. Marsha, yeah. come down to the office in a few minutes. There's a customer there with a complaint. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, what's the matter? You're all right. I'll never be the same. Oh. Sure, sure you will. Everything will be all right. Go ahead and get dressed. I'll, I'll turn my back. Why? I 
got no secrets from you no more. <laughs> How can you ever look me in the face again? <laughs> Can you imagine, Marmaduke, me getting mixed up in a high society racket? Uh. Fanny will never know you now. I'll know, because the brush will be dry. That's right. Oh. <laughs> well, what are you so happy about? <laughs> oh, I know. That nice young man we met yesterday is coming to see us this afternoon. Did you like him? Yeah! <laughs> Atta boy, now put your arm in. There we are. Now, we go. I want you to know my fiance, Miss Oglethorpe. Oh, the Virginia Oglethorpe's, of course. How do you do? Well, you got here too, I see. Don't you want to meet Mrs. Tenney? <laughs> she wouldn't know me. Then I'll introduce you. Mrs. Tenney. Yes? I want you to meet Mr. Musher. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Uh... Musher? <laughs> One of the Brooklyn Mushers. Oh, you're from Brooklyn. Uh, what part? Uh, all of it. <laughs> what an energetic young man. I'm so glad to know you, Mr. Musher. No, not Monsieur, just plain Musher. <laughs> Emphasis on the mush. <laughs> uh, who do I go to see about this here, Mrs. Uh, Tenite? Oh, you're one of those adorable young men who's going to bring up a baby. Yeah, yeah but I want to talk to you. Here's a day to kick off the baby. My baby? Yes, the little angel that you're going to support. Stand still, honey. You must look nice today. How do you know that nice young man might even adopt you? You mustn't be so bashful. This is a nursery. Isn't it sweet? My goodness. You must have a lot of babies. Where'd they all come from? Why, really, Mr. Musher, I couldn't say. Oh, here's an adorable child. Angel, see the nice man I brought you. Speak to him. What did I say? What's his name? Anything. Oh. Hello, anything. Ah, my young man. How are you, kid? <laughs> he doesn't seem to speak my language. I'll speak his. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> it's all right. Children will be children. Darling, you mustn't break the man's cane. Maybe you prefer the one in this crib. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
Isn't she angelic? Oh, she's cute. Coochie, coochie, coo. Hello, little sweetheart. You may kiss? Oh, I'll give you a penny for a kiss. I get more than that for taking cast oil. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you make her your ward? Oh, I'm afraid she'd be too expensive. Anyway, I don't want a ward. That's why I came out here today. You see, when I signed this slip, I didn't understand. One, two. I'm sorry. You'll have to take that matter up with Mrs. Tenney. But listen, I was... Hey, you. What do you think you're doing, you little... Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Cute little fella. Well, I managed to get here. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> you know, it's a beautiful place you have here. <laughs> yes, it's so peaceful. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I noticed. Will you stop it? Oh, uh, run away like a nice boy and play with your marbles. Go ahead. Yeah, and don't swallow any. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Oscar. <laughs> you remember Mr. Musher, darling? Say hello, Mr. Musher. Hello, Mr. Mush. Oh. <laughs> he thinks I'm a cereal. Never mind the Mr. Stuff. This is Uncle Willie speaking. <laughs> you know, I think it's marvelous of you to provide for a baby you know nothing about. Gee, it must be a tremendous satisfaction spending your money to bring up an angel like Oscar, for instance. Yeah, but well, that's, that's what I want to see about. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. But... How long have you been interested in orphans? Oh, all my life. You see, I, I used to be an orphan myself. You? Uh-huh. I was brought up in a home. Uh, nothing like this home. And they didn't have any nurses there like the ones they have here. <laughs> or I wouldn't have run away. Oh, you ran away? Uh-huh. What did you do? I went to work. You did? How old were you? Oh, about 15. Oh, and you've worked ever since, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, that is, on and off. Gee, you know... I think you're awfully romantic. Me? Romantic? Mm -hmm. You're just like a hero in a novel. All alone in the world, working hard, finally becoming rich and successful. Tell me, how did you make your first big money? Oh, my, my first big money. Uh-huh. Uh, what gave you your start? Uh, well, let me see now. Uh, a taxi cab. A taxi cab? Yeah. You see, it was a question of backing. Oh. Oh, I see. And after your first money, it was easy, huh? Well, uh, the first 3000 was the hardest. Then I invested in oil. Ever since then, why, there's been really nothing to it. <laughs> oh, isn't that exciting? Oh, see! We'll go out here later. Oh, heaven. Oh. Hey. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. Oh, they really should be put in bed. They're more trouble than twins. Why don't you put them in the twin beds? Oh, here, let me have it. Oh, I'm afraid your heart is ruined. Oh, well, that's I'm all right. Dump. There's plenty more where that came from. I'm going to dump. I'm going to dump. I'm going to dump. I'm going to dump. I got a headache. I thoroughly agree with you. One can't be too careful in adopting a child. Hello, Mrs. Is that can I? Hello, darling. Oh, rather attractive, isn't he, dear? Mm, yes, quite. Uh, this is number 517. He was left at the front door on the night of April 1st. Oh, an April Fool baby, eh? Yes. Well, come here, my man. Let me have a look at you. Ah, this. What's the matter? Got a flat, I must have picked up a nail someplace. How long will it take? Not over five minutes. All I've got to do is change the wheels. Okay. Hey, what place is this? Why, that's an orphan's home. Yeah? Gee, if a smart bird only knew where those kids come from, and why. Say, I brought that kid up here once myself. Yeah? Yeah. On April Fool's Day. Yeah? Go on, your story interests me. Well, you see, it was something like this. I get a call one night from a poppin' house downtown. It was a gal, and she asked me to drive her out to the orphan's home. Well, I drove her out there, got out of the cab, and helped the lady out. She had a baby in her arms. I was watching go up the stairs, and I started to turn around and close the cab door. I noticed something on the floor of the cab. 
I picked it up. It was a wedding ring. Had some initials inside. It said HV to VH. I said, hey, lady, did you drop this? She looked kind of funny and flustered like as she came down the stairs. I said, did you drop this in the cab? She says, oh, yes. If you please forget all about this, I'll give you $50 when I come out. <laughs> I said, lady, you could have the cab for $50. Well, I tried to figure it out, but it was over my head. Well, by the time I looked to see what the meter was and everything, she was back. Say, she was a swell-looking dame, too. But I noticed one thing. As she came down the stairs, she didn't have the baby in her arms. Well, she started to force some money on me, but you know me. I wouldn't take money from a woman. Well, I put her in the cab, said, where to, lady? She told me to drive her to a nightclub downtown. I hopped in the front seat, so I highballed it back to town. What did you say those initials were? H.V. to V.H. Mm-hmm. And you dropped the girl where? At a nightclub downtown. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. I wonder where she came from and why. Search me. Where would you like to go, darling? I'm hungry. <laughs> You're always hungry. Let's go and get some lunch. And you know nothing of his parentage? No. Oh, uh, Mary? Yes, Mr. Tenite. Can you tell us anything about 517? Oh, uh, nothing, except that he was left here well-dressed and well-cared for on the night of April 1st. That's all we know. My dear, I shouldn't dream of adopting a child unless I knew something of his parentage. Oh, uh, I'll take him. <laughs> oh, my dear. What is that? Oh, just a little birthmark. I shouldn't care for that at all. Uh, can't you show us something else? If you'll follow me. Uh, come along, dear. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's no kind of a family for you and me to get mixed up with. <laughs> you should worry about that little trademark. Here, look at the one I got. Oh, Mr. Musher. Oh, that's all right. Don't look. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet I know why you came here today. You're going to make Oscar your ward. Oh, that, that's what I want to see about. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful? Yeah, but I... You could come to see us any time you wanted to. Oh, please don't look at me like that. Oh, wouldn't you adore him for a guardian, honey? He'd be your Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie! Oh, gee. I'll find some way to do it. You will? Yeah. Oh, boy. This is great. Yeah, it's got to be done. Let's see, I get through at the store at 6. 6 to 9, that gives me three hours to eat and change my clothes. I don't have to, I get through here at 3. I get down at the store at 8. It gives me three hours to sleep. That's funny.
later. You get back to your post where you belong. Get back to your post. I'm getting tired of my tired man. That's the kind of thing I like, that peppy stuff. Well, give too. us a cigarette, will you, Pinky? Sure. Hey, pass the olive. Sure. Oh, boy. Yeah. Pinky, Pinky, look. Did you enjoy the theater? Oh, I thought it was good. Second day, it was. It wasn't it? Oh, I love it. Take your order, sir. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you for a few nights, sir. Uh, we've been out of town. Yeah, I missed your tips. What? I say, would you like to have some asparagus tips? No. That's young Harvey Vanderbilt. Yes. Yeah. That's the red-headed Jane he's going to marry next month. Yeah. Harvey, I can recommend the crab salad. Have you served any crabs tonight? Yeah, that old bald-headed guy over there. <laughs> What's that, Daisy? Take a look. 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 Violet Harris. She and Harvey are both. Both underage, so his father had it to know. Violet Harris, you said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Harvey Vanderman to Violet Harris. What's on your mind, Pinky? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking of writing a little letter, maybe. About what? About babies. Babies? Sure. Shall we join the merrymakers? Oh, I was wondering when you were going to ask me. Yes, sir. Hey, I'll take down the old hat and coat. Never mind that. I'm just going to take it. Yeah, yeah, well, I lost one like that. Never mind that. Sit down, please. Never mind. I'll tell her when to sit down. Sit down. Oh, I and stop chewing that gum, will you? Oh. Well, you're in a swell book now, Aggie. Well, gee, Johnny, you're swell to take me to a place I want to go, you're. Yeah, and you can think of plenty of places to go, believe me. Well, are you so, are you? So annoying. This is your birthday, ain't well, it? Ain't it? Sure, well. We gotta have a me and you. A me? What's yeah. a me and you? Waiter! Waiter! What are you doing? Start me guess what? Well, I... Aggie! Hello, Johnny. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm not very young, I'll tell you that. Hey, what are you doing here? I work here. Oh. You work for... Hey, you working down the store anymore? Yeah, I work there today and work here at night. At night? Uh -huh. Well, when do you sleep? Between drinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, but why? I need the money. You see, I'm supporting a baby, and babies cost a lot of jack. You bet you lot. That's what I've been telling Maggie. And listen, she can spend more money, Willie, than anyone I ever saw. Oh, shut up, you baby. Oh, go on. Say, Willie, how is the baby? How is the Come kid? Come on over here and sit yeah, down. I didn't know he was working here. Well, that'll be good, here. Eh? Oh, boy, I got the greatest little kid in the world. Hey, he must be, Willie, to keep you working on your dogs all day and all night. Yeah, yeah I know, but I make it easy on the puppies. Let's see. <laughs> well, wait, they look like these. <laughs> Aggie, they look like my old man's shoes. Look, my old man's shoes is about that size. You got a crazy or something? Get back to your post. Hey, lay off him. He's a friend of mine. Get back to your post. I'll see you later. Hey, wait a minute. We know that guy. That's all right, please. Will you move him? Sit down. Go ahead. Everything is going to be all right. Yeah. You bet your life everything's done. It better be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Ah, go on and comb your hair. Yeah. Oh, there's your tip, waiter. Thank you. I never saw so many left-footed dancers in all my life. Right. When I knew... 
need your help. I'll ask for it. What are you talking about? Here she comes now. Watch me ball her out. Oh, forget it. Not me. Say, listen, Daisy. I'm sorry, Joan. I'm going to tell you exactly why. What's the matter with you? You're trying to break up another party. No, but I'm going to tell you something. Oh, don't be so noisy. Ladies and gentlemen, the regular Wednesday evening dance contest is about to start. This contest is open to everyone and anybody. The winner will receive this beautiful solid gold silver loving cup. Anybody wants to get in it, I mean the contest, not the cup, will come up and get your numbers. Are you ready, Professor? Hey, Johnny, mm. that's you and me go in the dance contest, huh? Maybe we'll win the cup. Oh, Aggie, I don't want to dance. I'm ashamed. Oh, <laughs> the man said anybody could get in it. Yeah, I know, but he didn't know we were coming, did he? Johnny, I want to go in a dance contest. Now, look, Aggie, I don't want to dance, and that's all there is to it. Why? Because somebody's wife will steal my hat and coat. That's why. Well, yeah, come on. I want to get out there I'm not going to dance. Now, now look at you, Aggie. Now, look at you, Aggie. If I lose my hat and coat, you'll have to pay Nobody's for it. Nobody's going to take it. All right, now, I'll go. Now, listen, you. I'm sick and tired of being yelled at and browbeaten. One more crack out of you, and I'll quit. <laughs> That's when you get the tail out of turn. Swim for another dog. He still thinks he's champion. Oh, he fell down. Wait a minute. You did that. I'll fix you for this trick. Just a minute. Let go of me. We don't allow gentlemen to beat up ladies in here. No? No, oh, you'll have to go outside. Here, here, here. What's coming off? That way to get down. Oh, there's the egg that's got it. Enough. But this gentleman isn't even employed here. I don't worry. Hello, the way to the gun and I want satisfaction. Oh, come on. I'm not all right. Come on, gentlemen, please. Sit now, wait, down. Listen, I don't know whether they're all or what not. Wait, look, come let's on, have wait, a drink wait. and shut up about it. Okay. Okay. What kind of a dancing contest is this? Did you see that man kick you? Did I see him? I felt him. Come on, let's get out of here. I yes, wouldn't stand a contest like this. Well, we got rid of that one, Willie. Not a bad idea. Why, what happened? Well, I'd rather not say, but uh, I wouldn't win stand a contest for a dozen cups. What's the idea? What are you talking about? Why, you kick me and I'll punch in the nose for you. You what? Yeah, you heard Stay me. Stay coming up the audience playing, will you? All right, come on. I'll show you. Come on, 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 That done it out there on the floor. Oh, well, 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 look at my predicament. I haven't got time. Look at mine. Oh, well, 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 oh, Johnny. Oh, well, 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 oh, well, hey, well, oh, Johnny. Johnny, help me out, will you? Oh, Jay. What's the matter with you? I, I've been like that in a place like this. Oh, I'm all right, Johnny. Oh, you're all right, yeah. are you? Yeah? Well, have you forgotten your operation? Oh. Yeah, oh. Go ahead. Oh, Go yeah. ahead and sit down. Oh, let me just get one socket, you. Now, wait a minute. Let me explain. There is no explanation necessary. 
I'll attend to this. Now get out. You're fired. And let this be a lesson for you. But I was only getting out. Come on, folks, please. Sit down and have a good time. You come here. Come on, Let go. Oh, all right, if you feel that way, I'm so sorry. Oh, let me alone. Oh, wait a minute. Just a moment. Here. Oh, no, I can't. That's all right. I'm awfully sorry you got in that jail. It was that big egg store. Go on, put it in your kit. Thank you. Here you are. Oh, is that what she gave you? Yeah. Here's your cut. Can I go home now? Sure, yes. Yeah. But listen. You've been late every night this week. Now come along here tomorrow night on time. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> and listen. Lay off these discount tests. You wear out my guests. Yes, sir. <laughs> Take care of that for me. <laughs> Are you sorry? He's late today, honey, but you know he'll come. Uncle Willie hasn't missed a Sunday in two months. Mary. Yes? Your boyfriend's just come in the gate. See, what did I tell you? It's candy today, isn't it? What? Well, we all know the routine. One Sunday flowers, next Sunday candy. <laughs> Keep me a couple of chewies, will you? All right. Oh, what have you got there? The oil. Oh, now your trouble starts. Not today. I put plenty of syrup in to fool them. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Musher, uh, you have candy today, I see. Yes. You have candy today, I see. No. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Oscar, you're looking great. <laughs> Look, Mary, look what I got for you. Oh, thanks. You know, all week long, I try to think of different things to bring in, but I always end up with candy or croissant or, cr or flowers. <laughs> oh, thanks, but you don't need to bring anything. Don't you suppose I know that? But I do. You know, someday I'm going to bring you a, uh... A what? Gee, when you look at me like that, my heart just goes... <laughs> oh, now you're kidding. No, I'm not. Oh, what's in the box? Oh, boy, wait you see. Mm -hmm. Steam engine. Oh! Uh -huh. Has anybody told you that you're beautiful today? Uh-uh. Oh, then I will. You're perfect. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Willie, you look awfully tired. Didn't you sleep well last night? Yeah, I slept well, but not long enough. Hmm. Up late. At a party, I suppose. Oh, no. I, I went to a nightclub. Oh, how I hate nightclubs. Well, why did you go? Well, uh, well I, I had to go on business. Well, for goodness sake, if you're so sleepy, why don't you go home? Oh, I, I'd rather be here. Honest, Mary. <laughs> When did you receive this anonymous letter? Yesterday. A baby, eh? It's news to me, Dad. Maybe it isn't true. In any case, it's blackmail. We've got to get a hold of that baby, if there is one. Have you kept track of that Violet Harris girl? Uh, yes, sir. You've got to get in touch with her. First, get the Bellevue Orphanage on the phone. Yes, sir. But I mean it, Willie. You can't enjoy yourself going around half asleep. But you don't know what Sundays mean to me. Visiting you and Oscar is the only fun I have. Do you mean that, honestly? Gee, Mary, can't you tell I'm crazy about you? Oh, I'm glad, because I'm a little crazy about you, too. No, honestly? Uh-huh. Oh. He says he can't go any place. Oh, really? I'll be right back. What? Well. Oh, Oscar. <laughs> Gee, she likes me. Did you know it? Yeah. I bet you knew it all the time, you little rascal, and you wouldn't tell me. <laughs> That's it easy now. Now, don't you ever put your head in there again. Well, you don't think I did it on purpose. No. It's all right, I tell you. There's no taste to it. It's castor oil. Oh, it's lucky for you that I need this job. Now, I'm telling you once more that there's no taste to this castor oil. No. Oh, Mr. Musher, would you come here a moment, please? I wonder if you'd stand there and help me out. Uh, certainly. I'm going to give you one more chance. And if you don't do it this time, I'll... Uh, uh, well, I'll give it to Mr. Musher. Uh, sure, and I'll swallow it, too. <laughs> now, are you going to take it? No. All right, then. See? 
Uh, does it taste bad? No, it's good. Oh. Hmm, my, that is good. Maybe he'll take it from you. Would you like to try it? Sure. Ah, oh, my young man. Mmm. <laughs> it's your turn. No. Oh, well, all right. Is it good, Lester? Is it good? Oh, boy. <laughs> a boy, Hercules. Me too, mister. Me too, mister. Me too, mister. All right, all right. One at a time now. One at a time. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. There you are. Come on, mister. Come on, mister. All right, just a minute. Me too, mister. Me too, mister. Me too, mister. All right, honey. Oh, good gracious. You're not giving all the children castor oil, are you? Castor oil? Yes. Oh. Well, what's the matter? Oh. Are you feeling badly? Yeah, and I'm going to feel worse. Really? Uh, excuse me. Well, what's the matter, Willie? Uh, I, I just got some bad news. What about? Oil. No, 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 no. Yes, Mr. Vanderman. A darling little boy, number 517. He was left here on the night of April 1st, last year. I see. Uh, fact is, I'm quite interested. I'll know in a day or two more about it. Could I see the child next Sunday? Certainly. We'll have a complete record ready for you when you come. What's that? Oh, you may depend upon me to keep the matter absolutely confidential. Yes. Goodbye. I was, and as soon as you leave, I'm going right back to sleep. You're going to sleep on your back? Yeah. No. <laughs> Listen, what's your name? Buster, what's yours? Uh, Santa Claus. Come back Christmas. I'm waiting for somebody. Who? A uh, young lady, will you go away, please? You like her? Yeah, I like her. Will you run along and play with your playmates? No. No. I want to play now. Yeah, but listen. Get off. Get your hand out of my face. Will you? Get your... Look out. Get off of me, will you? Uh, do you like ice cream? What kind of ice cream? A strawberry ice cream. No. Do you like chocolate ice cream? No. Vanilla ice cream? No. What flavor ice cream do you like? I don't like any flavor. Oh. Well, look. Here's a dime. You run along and buy yourself some ice cream without any flavor. <laughs> I don't know why so many people get married. What's the matter, Willie? Upset about something? Oh, no, it's it's all right now. <laughs> Tell me, why do you work so hard? How do you know I work hard? Well, you forget I'm a trained nurse. I'm worried about you. Gee, that's sweet of you to worry about me. Of course, I'm not worth it. Oh, yes, you are. Me. You know, there, there's something I've been wanting to tell you to. What's the matter with you? What do you want now? I lost the door. Oh, you lost it, did you? Well, that's too bad. 
Now, what was I saying? I want enough for dying. <laughs> what do you think I am, the mint? <laughs> he wants another dime. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I only have a half a dollar. <laughs> well, I can carry you for you. Well, what are you going to do with a guy like that? Now, what were we talking about? Well, we were talking about you. Oh, that's silly when there's you to talk about. Is she her? Is she her? What do you mean? Is she the one you were talking about? Yeah. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Just a moment, please. Come here. <laughs> Listen. Will you beat it? You got your bribe. Now get out of here. <laughs> Great kid. You know, when I get a chance, I'm going to tell you a lot of nice things about yourself. Oh, uh, now you're making fun of me. No, I'm not. I... Are you still here? What is it? Do you love her? Oh, why, why, of course, yes. Well, why don't you kiss her? Yeah. Can you, can you suggest anything except murder? Oh, uh, Buster, run away, dear. No, I don't want to. Buster? I know. You don't want me to see you kissing. Buster! Oh. <laughs> you know, it'd be hard work learning to love him. Oh, you shouldn't let the children annoy you. You know, that's the only trouble with you. What is? Oh, your disposition is too sweet. You let everybody walk all over you. It's not right. You running yourself ragged like a... Well, like a waiter in a restaurant looking for a tip. Waiter? Yes. What makes you think of that? You don't like waiters, do you? Oh, I'm not talking about waiters. Oh. I'm talking about you. Why do you let people impose on you so? Well, I, I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? To strike oil. I promise you one thing. Once I strike oil, nobody's gonna walk on me. Well, what's the name of your oil company? The McLoon Oil Company. There. Oh, the Macaloon Oil Company started drilling its first well last week. And it's worked out as fast as progress. Oh, hello, Oscar. Have you had your nap already? No, he wouldn't take his nap. He's too excited. Uh-oh. This'll never do, young fella. You can have him. And I wish you luck. <laughs> See here, kid, you gotta take your nap. Ha, ha, ha! You can't laugh me out of it. You're gonna sleep. You sing to me? Oh, Uncle Willie can't sing, darling. Who says I can't sing? Well, I never heard you. Well, there's a lot of things about me she doesn't know. E All right, Smarty, tell us. How do you sing? Loud. Oh, how's he going to sleep if you sing loud? Watch me. Do me, me, me. What are you going to sing? How can I tell till I get started? Me, 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 me. Listen, I can't sing if your eyes are open. You've got to keep them closed. Do you understand? All right. Let me see. Rock in the cradle of the deep. Now, look, your eyes are open. You keep them closed. Some strange old man must have crossed my path. Good luck came then as an aftermath. It's true. For you suddenly came to view. Now I can't tell. I've been wrong from right. Seems I just fell and I lost my sight, baby. Can't see anybody but you. Love comes without a warning. You wake up one morning and find that it's there, even your heart. First a tiny attraction, then comes a reaction, you fear something there deep in your heart. You press it, caress it, with love's tender care. Gee, it's thrilling. It's really a vacancy there. You can never disguise it. When you realize it, you'll find that it's deep in your heart. <laughs> 
Mr. May I interrupt on a matter that concerns the child? What's the matter with him? Uh, may I ask... May I ask, have you any plans for him? Do you intend to adopt him? Adopt him? Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, I see. But you have no objection to his adoption by someone else. Someone else? A very wealthy man. A multimillionaire has become interested in the boy. He'll probably take him. Wait a minute. You can't take him away from me like that. But you said you had no plans for him. Well, I didn't know anybody else had plans for him. Who is it? Oh, I can't tell you at present. The fact that you've supported the child for several months gives you the first claim on him, of course. But on the other hand, it is my duty to arrange the best possible adoption for him. You understand? Yeah. Think it over, Mr. Busher. I'm quite sure you want to do what is best for the child. Gee, that's tough. Willie, are you going to let her walk all over you again? What do you mean? Are you going to let her take Oscar away from us? Us? But what can we do? She said he was a millionaire. Oh, but it doesn't take a million dollars to adopt a baby. Why don't you adopt him yourself? You have first claim on him. How much will it cost? Oh, well, uh, not more than a couple hundred dollars. Oh, a couple hundred, huh? Yes, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I can do it. You will? Uh-huh. Listen, I'll, I'll adopt them if you'll take care of them. Oh, I'd love to. In some cozy little house somewhere. Oh, but... But what? Oh, really, what would people think and say about the three of us in the same house? What could they say? It'd be all right. I'd adopt you, too. Oh, you... You're not joking? I am not. See, but I don't know whether you love me enough to... Oh, but I do, Willie. With all my heart. Oh. I'll get the $200. <laughs> oh, well, there's no doubt of it, is there? Not after that kiss. <laughs> and you meant everything you said, didn't you? Every word of it. Yeah, I wouldn't disappoint you for the world. Oh, I just couldn't stand it if you did, Willie, after this. Well, don't worry. <laughs> oh, goodbye, honey. Goodbye. And Cinderella and the prince lived happily ever after. Mom! Mom. Oh, no, all right, darling, time to go to bed now. Aren't we going to have a show? Oh, you want a show tonight? Yeah! yeah. All right, whose turn is it? Mine! All right, Buster, what do you want to do? I want to recite. All right, fine. Now, you go ahead and recite. Now, listen quietly, everybody. Go ahead. If I only had a home we own, someone who cared for me, just like all these other boys and girls, how happy I would be with a climb of me. I'm daddy, too, to call me all their own. This world would be all sunshine if I only had a home. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's all for the night, darling. Now, everybody in bed. Quick, hurry up. Good night, good night.
his knee lie down in the green pastures. You'd better stop for now, Mary. They'll be praying all night. All right, I will. I think that's enough. I'm sure your prayers were heard. Now, come on, lie down, everybody. Cover up tight. That's it. And now you and I will say our little private prayer. God bless Uncle Wally. And make him happy. Yes. <laughs> Lie down, darling. Yes, Where'd you get this stuff? I bought it, Mr. Scholar. I'm sorry. But the bank can't loan anything on this kind of security. Well, it, it's good, isn't it? Possibly. It's not a listed stock and has no market value. What difference does that make? Gee, they started drilling the well last week. Hmm, that's good. If they strike oil, they make you a wealthy man, eh? Sure, I know, but I need the $200 now. I'm sorry. No bank or loan association in the state can loan anything on that kind of stuff. Could I sell you $200 worth of it? $200? Not for a carload. Huh. Hello? Oh, that you, Charlie? General Motors up a point. Good. How much do we make? 80,000. Not bad. Okay. Isn't there any chance of me raising $200 on this? Not here. I'm sorry. She so am I. The child seems to be normal and healthy. You've no idea of his parentage? No. You sent for me? This is Mary Robbins in charge of the nursery. This is Mr. Vanderman, who is going to adopt 517. You're going to take him away? You seem fond of the child. Is he fond of you? Oh, why, yes. Good. He'll need a nurse. How would you like the position? You couldn't do better, my dear. We we'll leave Thursday for Europe. I'll pay all your expenses and give you $50 a week. Aren't you fortunate, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't go. What? Haven't you told Mr. Vanderman about Mr. Musher? Who? What about him? He's the gentleman who has been supporting 517. He's going to adopt after himself. He's coming here today with the money and the adoption papers. Why wasn't I consulted about this? They're employed by the home, not by Mr. Musher. Who is this fellow? Why does he want the child? Oh, because he loves him. But there's more to it than that. Did he tell anything about adopting the child before he knew I was interested? Nothing. I thought so. That's the man who's been trying to blackmail us. Where can I find this crook? Willie! Hello, Mary. What's wrong? Oh, everything. I couldn't do it. Young man, you'd better watch your step or you'll land in jail. Who are you? This is Mr. Vanderman, who's going to adopt Oscar. Uh, just where do you figure in this? Oh, Mr. Mush has been paying for the support of the child every week. Wait a minute. Have you been so... <laughs> well, this is very funny. So you've been supporting that kid with the tips you got, eh? Tips? He's a waiter in a nightclub. Oh, he is not. Mr. Mush is a, a successful businessman. He's been serving me at the 400 Club for weeks. Ask him. Are you sure of this, Harvey? Why, certainly. Oh, Willie. Is this true? Yes. I, I am a waiter. Oh, then you've been lying to me. About everything. Yes, but Mary... Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, don't, Mary. I didn't mean to. I just wanted you to like me because... Well, because I... Well, under the circumstances, then you won't stand in the way of the child's happiness, will you, Mr. Musher? Well, listen, I can take care of Oscar. Gee, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, and I'm making more money all the time. Come now, young man, what can you do for him? Our home can give him every advantage, every luxury that wealth can buy. Don't you understand that? You'd be doing the baby a great injustice if you prevented his adoption by Mr. Vanderman. But he's kind of used to me now, you know. 
He likes me. Gee, wouldn't it be just as satisfactory to get another kid? No. Well, you know, Oscar isn't exactly perfect. He's got a little birthmark on his back. He's the only child I want. If you have any feeling for him or regard for his future, you won't deny him this opportunity. You must think of the baby. I am, Mrs. Tenike, I am. Well... Well, if it means a good break for Oscar, then, then I won't stand in his way. Of course you won't. I understand you supported the child for some months. Now, any expense you've been put to, I... Oh, I'm not selling Oscar. You, you haven't got enough money to buy him. I'm, I'm giving him to you. Because... Because it's best for him. Goodbye, Mary. I don't suppose you'll ever want to see me again. I just want you to know whatever I did was because... because I loved you so much. gone away. No. No. Well, it's all right. You're going to a beautiful place. Just like the place in the storybook. You're going to have a swell time. You'll be so happy and... You'll be there, too? Well, let's not talk about that now. You bring me toys, Uncle Wally? Oh, you have lots of funny toys. Oodles and oodles of funny toys that will make you laugh and laugh and laugh. You laugh too, Uncle Willie? I'll try. Listen, Master. They're waiting in there for you. You better run along now. Goodbye, kid. Goodbye. Run along now. I always remember. Whether I'm there or not, your Uncle Willie is loving you every minute of every day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. Say, I sent for you ten minutes ago. Now, what kept you? Well, never mind. Who dressed that toy window downstairs? Don't blame me for that. Musher did that one. Oh, he did, did he? Yes, he did. And he dressed the baby clothes window, too. Yeah? When I dress a window, <laughs> you know it. You bet I do. Because it's rotten. Those are the two best-looking windows in town. Everybody's talking about them. Customer with a complaint, sir. Oh. Huh. Send Marsha to me at once. Yes, sir. Well, I did my best. All right. Yes, sir. From now on, Marsha's the head window dresser. Yes, sir. I'll make a note of it. Mm. Say, Marsha, the boss wants you. Yeah, I know. He's been looking all over for you. And you better watch your step. He's on the warpath. Well, I'm going right up there and tell that old moss back just what I think of him. I've been saving this up for a long time. Oh, get out of here. And let me tell you something. I take my last order from you, you... Now, listen. You'll take orders from me as long as you're employed here. Yeah, uh, well, tell it to her. Who? Huh. Hey, what's the matter here? Say, hey, I want Marsha. Now, 
Now, wait a minute, Reisman. Reisman? I've got a few things to say to you before I go. I've stood for your abuse and, and your terrible necktie for the last time. You know what I think of you? You're the meanest, stingiest, crankiest, most unreasonable old buzzard I ever Fine. met. You fired me for the last time. I quit. Well, why don't you say something? Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Say, you got me wrong. You're not fired. You're promoted. I'm what? Promoted. From now on, you're head window dresser. Those two windows did the trick. You mean I'm the boss? Yes. From now on, Callaway takes orders from you. Hmm. Now go ahead with your own ideas. I won't interfere. Now, how about it, Marshal? Yes, sir. All set. Yes, sir. And thank you very much, Mr. Eisman. All right, Mr. Eisman. All right. Uh, how about a little increase in salary? I'll give you $10 more and I give count away. <laughs> thank you. Uh, how much you pay Callaway? Fifty dollars. Okay. <laughs> could, could I get a loan of two hundred dollars? Four hundred dollars? What for? It's for a baby. A baby? Your baby? Well, two hundred dollars more than he's mine. And you want me to put up $200 so you can have a baby? Yeah. You're crazy. Oh, am I? Then you can get yourself another head window dresser. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. That's the way you feel about it. One, fifty, two hundred. <laughs> Say, I didn't know that you were married. I'm not. <laughs> it's for an orphan I'm going to adopt. Gee, it means an awful lot to me. Oh, all right, my God. Thank you very much, Mr. Eisen. <laughs> uh, uh, could, could I get the afternoon off? Say, what is all this? I gotta go out there and get my baby. You see, there's someone else after him, and I might lose out. So I want to... All right, all right. Go ahead before you think of something else. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, gee, Mr. Eisman. Thanks very much. Everybody around here thinks you're an old crab. A crab? Yeah. But I think you're a great little guy. Well, Tadaloo. I have taken care of it. Thank you. Everything has been arranged. The nurse is getting the child ready now. I should enjoy donating this check to the home if I were sure no mention of the adoption would appear in the newspapers. You may leave it safely to me. Thank you. Are we going on the steamboat and see the choo-choo train? Stay, stay. Uncle Wally. Hello, Asker. Hello. Uh, Mary, I got the $200. Oh, it's too late, Willie. I'm taking off to the office now. Oh, you are, are you? Yes. Well, I'd like to see anybody take my kid away from me now. I'll wait for the... You! Just a minute, you're not through yet. What does this mean? Don't yell at me, I've been yelled at by experts. This is outrageous. Yeah, and it's gonna be outrageous, sir. If this is blackmail... Listen, when it's your turn to talk, I'll tell you. You know, I've been pretty nice so far, but don't get me mad. For from now on, jumping on me will be just as safe as jumping on dynamite. Here, hold this a minute. You know who I am? I'm head window dresser in Tracy's department store, the boss, see? And I got all the money in the world. That's for Oscar, he's mine, and you're through. Take your money and get out, and, and well, let this be a lesson to you. Young man, pick up your money. You can't have Oscar, he's my grandson. Your what? My grandson. He was left here the night of April 1st. Is this true? Oh, I think it is. Oh. Well, how do you know that was the only child left here that night? Was it? Miss Brown, the record. May I ask why you didn't suggest this possibility? Well, I... Wait a minute, wait, Miss Brown. Miss, here it is, April 1st. There was another baby left here that night. Another baby? Yes, listen, number 518, a boy left at front door, well-dressed, wearing 
ring tied to his wrist and graved HB to VH. Harvey's boy, what became of him? Adopted October 5th, taken to England by Mr. and Mrs. Isaac Goldberg of London. Hooray for the Philistines! <laughs> oh, listen, then he's not related to you. You don't want him now, do you, Mr. Bannerman? Certainly not. <laughs> There's the $200, Mrs. Tenike. Nobody wants them. Can I have them now? <laughs> we'll talk about this when Mr. Vanderman leaves. Thanks. Gee, ain't that great, Mary? <laughs> He's all bought and paid for. Young man, I haven't been talked to in years the way you've talked to me. It did me good. So you the real thing back of you. Why don't you two get married? And it takes a businessman to think of that. Uncle Willie, has he gone? <laughs> yes, honey, he's gone. Why don't you marry your Uncle Willie? Oh, <laughs> how about it, Mary, huh? How about it? Well... Well, we'd have a great start with Oscar. Oh, I wouldn't think of marrying anyone else. Oh, but Willie, it costs a lot of money to dress a woman and a baby. Oh, that's all right. I've dressed hundreds of them. <laughs> 